Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there are ominous developments coming out of the Iran military that I think the world has largely missed in the last six or seven years. Prior to 2010, Iran exported its agenda through proxies, uh, through covert and clandestine activity, uh, through threats in the region. Since 2010, they have become much more active in terms of the exportation of this ideology. Their Navy is more active in the Gulf than it has been really for decades. You heard earlier that just this week they are threatening the use of missiles throughout the Middle East, particularly targeting Israel. And I hope you read in your pamphlet that there are more than 70,000 Iranians in Syria. This marks a dramatic change from what has been. And I would like to tell you that it might get better, but I don't think that that's the case. Iran has done what it has done on an annual basis for the last 10 years with about $16 billion a year dedicated towards those activities. Since the nuclear agreement, that $16 billion can be multiplied by a factor of 10. And so I think it's fair that we can anticipate much more disruptive activity, not less, on the part of the Iranian military. So what's the answer? What do we do? The answer is right here, a free Iran. The problem is, what are our options? Sanctions may work, but only partially. Denouncement by the global order of nations has no impact on the mullahs. We could launch an attack, a regime change effort, but I will tell you, check the geography, the landing beaches are a long way from Tehran. There are two mountain ranges in between, and tens of thousands of young Iranian boys, and probably that many coalition, would die in such a massive effort. So it's entirely not likely. What is likely, and what must happen for there to be change, is revolution. And you people represent that effort. What I would say to the representatives of the other nations who are represented here today is that unlike 2009, when the revolution starts, we have to get behind your effort for it to succeed fully. God bless you all and good luck.